In the desert, water is the only currency that counts. We are the people of the desert. For us, water is gold. Because of this water structure, my children get drinking water every day. Kiran have done a lot for us and our community. This water storage tank is one of thousands installed for households across the desert. It's part of a rainwater harvesting project storing millions of litres of drinking water and was set up by Cairn Energy in partnership with the community. Before we had this water tank, I had to walk two kilometres to the nearest well, fill up the pots and get water. Now, I have all the time and energy to do the household chores because the water is taken care of. The house is prosperous. The structure that you see, the well-maintained house that you see, is because I have cattle now, and the cattle rearing can be done because I have water. For the farmers of the desert, life and fortunes have been transformed. In an area which had been underexplored, Cairns' commitment to India was rewarded in 2004 with the country's largest onshore oil discovery for 25 years. From the single wellhead at Mangala, Cairn built a terminal to process the oil. The tankers carrying the fuel to the coastal refinery 600 kilometers away were replaced by the world's longest heated pipeline. By the time the Mangala processing terminal opened, the company had spent billions of dollars and created thousands of local jobs. A decade on, that terminal provides more than a third of the country's entire crude production. The fact that India was able to save so much of its foreign exchange and, and cut down its import bill, uh, at least cut down its oil import bill, uh, thanks to one district, that is, that is, I think that is a phenomenal statistic. The legacy for Burma and Rajasthan has been rapid advance. Once deemed a rural backwater, the city is now a teeming hub of economic activity. Incomes are nearly 40% higher than the national average, and Burma is the second largest contributor to the state's GDP. The, the, the businesses that didn't exist have come up there. It has integrated businesses into a network which didn't exist earlier. It has created new businesses. It has created first first generation entrepreneurs. It has created first generation millionaires. Kiri Logistics. We started Kiri Logistics in 2003 when Can came to Rajasthan, India for the first time. India, India mein Rajasthan mein pehli baar. Aur net worth ke alawa jo paise to kamaye kamaye jo hamare. Along with the net worth, the name we have earned today is invaluable. Kibat agar dekhi jaye. I would like to thank and give due credit to Cairn Energy for this because they were the ones who gave us this chance and employed local youth. We were able to use this opportunity and prove ourselves and reach this position. Our main business is with oil companies and in addition to India, we have opened our office in Dubai called Kiri Solutions to cover the Middle East region. Our main aim is to take the knowledge we gain from the oil industry here in India to the international platform. We have taken on challenges and proven ourselves. New highways providing faster links with other centers and better communications, all have underpinned the relentless progress. And now they're building a pipeline for a new refinery. Such major infrastructure projects need a skilled labor force. Cairn's collaboration with the Indian and Rajasthan governments and with the IFC, the investment arm of the World Bank, has provided one. And that has helped one of Barma's pioneering entrepreneurs build a growing empire. He offers storage space and other services to the oil companies operating out of the region. Since Cairns' entry in 2003, the biggest change that happened was that the local youth were educated and trained by Cairns. The industrial growth that has happened in Barmer is because of Cairns. Not just industries, but also local businesses like shops that you see in the city, and also the sustainable growth that you see in Barmer is because of Cairns. 
a new confidence has encouraged women to come together around their traditional skills, carving out a source of independent wealth in a new economy attracting big names in fashion. In 2007, there was no drinking water, no roads, no visitors. Now, because of the oil exploration, a lot of outsiders have come to Barmer. We have infrastructure, we have roads, we have drinking water facilities, and a lot of outsiders have been able to connect with us. So our work has gone global, because a lot of people come and buy our products. And that's how our products get promoted. Others are looking to the future too. This hotel is one of more than 30 in the region where once there was just one. The owner plans more rooms and a small golf course to attract tourism, an industry that has so far bypassed this part of Rajasthan. In other areas of Rajasthan, you will see very good hotels, all business, communities, and everything development. There, there are lots of development just because of you know, tourism business. So once, as we have you know, support of oil, and now we can easily move into tourism, once we will get that, we have lots of you know, good things which we can experience to our guests. The desert oil fields of Rajasthan are Cairn Energy's legacy to Barma and India. Oil revenues from Barma have yielded $20 billion to the Indian government over the last 10 years. I think that Cairn, when we arrived in Rajasthan, saw that potential, the potential that others hadn't seen. Um, we saw what could happen if we were successful. We saw the change, the positive change that we could make. Uh, and we saw the positive change, not only for Cairn, but for Rajasthan and for India. And I'm glad to say that today, we've seen that change in action. The changes inspired by Cairn have delivered business opportunities and investment for local communities. And the jobs and social programs created here will help sustain the desert people of Barma for years to come.